What's up guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage, another totally tubular two minute tool time Tuesday. Today, we're gonna talk about an awesome tool that you should have if you got a MIG welder. I got my little Multimatic 215 right down here. That's a Miller multi-process machine that does MIG, TIG, and stick welding. Um, and this thing is pretty badass, but I have a little tool that uh, everyone basically with a, uh, a MIG welder should definitely have. If you don't have one of these, uh, you need one because it makes your life so much simpler. So this is, well, basically they're just called welding pliers. And let me show you a couple things that these do. So the first thing, if you're doing a bit of welding, uh, right here, this is just some TIG welds. But uh, if you look over here, we got some MIG welds going on. And when you do MIG, sometimes you'll have a little bit of splatter. Flux core, you will definitely have splatter. And arc welding, you will definitely have splatter. But sometimes you just gotta clean that off a little bit or whatever. And you can use this as a hammer to break off the excess garbage. The second use is this little part right here, which if you look at the front of your MIG gun, uh, you can pull this off to remove the tip. Um, what that's good for is, well, if you know you need a good grip on it or whatever, uh, also a lot of time this can be very hot, so that is another use there. Now you see right here on these pliers, that is to remove the wire tip. So right here you got the little, little feed that's gonna be your certain size that you need. Um, so to break that off or tighten it down or whatever, uh, you can use that portion of these pliers and it just makes your life that much easier. You know, not that this is always on there that tight, but hey, if you want a little bit of extra crankage, you can just put it on there and boom, it's easy. Now the next one is pretty obvious, is you can use any set of pliers for this, but I love having a pair of welding pliers for this, is you can just, you know, snip off your, uh, your electrode stick out right here. You can just snip it off pretty easily and, uh, you know, shorten that up when you have an extra little bit hanging out. Because uh, if you have too much hanging out, you're going to get hairs on there and it's going to be, it's going to be gross. You don't want that. You don't want your weld looking nasty. So, you know, you can clip that down so that you have the proper amount sticking out of the nozzle right here and then your weld's gonna look beautiful. So for the last thing you can see I have like a little bit of slag in here right inside the nozzle. Uh, you can use the tips of these right here after using the back, right? You can pull that off, clean up the tip just by going like this. That cleans up the end of the nozzle so that you can have proper gas flow. You're not gonna have anything clogging it up. And it, uh, you know, again, having a nice clean weld and having cleanly prepped tools is going to help you out so that you can have nice steady stream of gas, nothing blocking it when it's coming out. And then you can make nice and clean MIG welds with your stuff. So very nice. This is just one of those tools that, well, it just helps you out as you go. Pretty inexpensive, I think it's like 14 or 15 bucks. I'll leave a link down below, but if you're doing MIG welding, if you're doing flux core, you know, anything like that, uh, it's really nice to just have one of these, throw it on your welding card or whatever next to your welder. Uh, in my opinion, it's better than having like a little set of dikes to, uh, to chop your, you know, chop your wire off or whatever. This just makes it easy. You got all the tools right there. And uh, if you don't have one, you should pick one up because they're awesome. So anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, link down below in the description. Like I said, new tool time Tuesdays, every Tuesday. And uh, make sure to subscribe. Later and wrench on, guys.